But I think that should be my right to vote. That's the way I feel about it. 93-year-old Viviette Applewhite has been voting in presidential elections since 1944. In the 1960s, she once marched for voting rights with Martin Luther King. But under Pennsylvania's new voter ID law, she may not be able to vote in November. She's among a few hundred thousand registered voters, according to estimates by Pennsylvania officials, who don't have an acceptable photo ID. What about a driver's license? I've never driven a car in my life, never wanted to. Because the name on her birth certificate is in Applewhite, she's been unable to get a government photo ID. Now she's the lead plaintiff in the Pennsylvania case challenging the new law. Applewhite believes photo ID, approved by a Republican legislature and governor, is aimed at suppressing the votes of minorities who lean Democratic and turned out in record numbers for President Obama in 2008. I'm running to change Washington in a fundamental way. They don't want him in there, and they're trying to get him out. They will get him out because if the black people don't vote for him, he's crippled. As evidence, First opponents like point to recent comments by the Republican leader of the state legislature. Voter ID, which is going to allow Governor Romney to win the state of Pennsylvania, done. Since 2011, nine other states have passed photo ID laws aimed at stopping voter fraud. Kansas Secretary of State Chris Kobach told a panel this week the number of people lacking proper ID is overstated. We've had this law in effect since January 1st. We've had 53 county and local elections since then. Uh, so far, about one-tenth of one percent of voters have shown up at the polls without a photo ID. Still, in the past five years, Kansas has prosecuted only a handful of voter fraud cases. Pennsylvania, none. Which is why Christopher Broach, an election judge in one Pennsylvania precinct, doesn't plan on enforcing the law. You don't believe voter impersonation is a problem? I don't believe it's ever been a problem. So what is this really about? I think it's about suppressing votes and violating people's civil rights. Viviette Applewhite thought those rights were settled long ago. It upsets me, it really does. The trial to stop Pennsylvania's photo ID law is expected to last another week. But even after the judge decides, appeals could last beyond November's election. Nancy? And several other states facing lawsuits as well. Elaine, thank you so much.